We yeah. need to get back to the zoo. Yeah, let's get to that because Bonnie Silkman is live on the scene there. We'll get back to the weather coverage. But Bonnie, we want to make sure we catch the uh, moment of uh, glory there. What's oh, happening? Oh, perfect here we go. timing! <laughs> wow! You guys, good morning. We are live at the uh, Oregon Zoo, and you are watching the elephants coming out to enjoy <laughs> a pumpkin feast. They're arriving as we speak. This is so cool to watch. Is this one going to go for the green one? Or the oh, oh the green. She's picking oh, the green one. Oh, oh this right is so it. satisfying to watch. It really is. I don't know if you guys can hear the sound of them pushing through the pumpkins, but it's pretty amazing. Okay, the third lady elephant is coming through. Oh, we got a good big squish going on. <laughs> this is just fantastic. The elephant number three is showing up right now. Trying so to, far, they're sharing very nicely. Trying to wedge its way in. I don't know if she in. sees her uh, pumpkin in the middle. So it's funny. They both went for the smaller ones. Mm. The big one is in the middle. Well, really you know, okay, sadly, the it's, it's, it's coming in 19th like, place. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, they're going to the smaller one. They're, they're on a diet body, She's I think. Like, you know, they've got the smaller pumpkin there. Oh, look You're out. right. You're right. The holidays are around the corner. You yeah. know, they got to watch so their figure. Fun. But yeah, okay. She is smashing in. So no one's touched the big old pumpkin in the middle. That one is 809 pounds. That's the biggest one. So um, the ladies look like they're loving this. Oh, this is the 26th look. annual squishing of the squash. And guys, this is really, really good for the animals. Oh, we got another push here. Um, <laughs> this is very enriching. It's really good for them to, you know, eat different foods in different spaces. Mm -hmm. And man, they got a big crowd watching. There are, yeah. I would say, hundreds and hundreds of people surrounding the uh, zoo elephant enclosure watching this happen. It's a really beloved tradition. Again, 26 years in the making. Uh, I interviewed the farmers who grew these pumpkins. They said they just love this tradition. This is so <laughs> fun so to watch. Fun. I can't believe they haven't smashed the middle pumpkin. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm waiting for the go big for one it, to drop girl. She's yeah. looking at it. She's thinking yeah. about it. Should I? She's, she's like, know. should I? Yeah. Should I? And Bonnie, I, mean, what like, a, I know they had some appetizers earlier, but I don't know. What a great crowd there, yeah. too, and a, and a great day for them to see oh. this. It is so cool to see all of the kids, all of the families. The sun is out right now. Um, watching this is such a beloved tradition. Uh, yeah, pachyderms so pulverizing fun. pumpkins. I mean, <laughs> what more could you really ask for? It. I feel like this is like my, you know, we know Halloween is around the corner when we yep. see this happen, but really satisfying to watch. I'm just shocked that they haven't gone for that middle pumpkin. I'm it's about right to run there. out there. and I wonder why. I, I don't even know what to make of <laughs> that maybe yeah. they're just so into the pumpkins they're smashing that you know they can't they're just very dainty elephants you know they don't want to bite off more than they can chew although yes. I, I imagine they could take care of that oh. thing no problem oh this is i think is so and it's funny because i was told the zoo handler says they tend to go for the smaller ones first oh, and what i was wondering okay we got an orange pumpkin and then like a white pumpkin mm -hmm. and then a green pumpkin. I'm like, do they taste different? Do they smell different? I don't know. Hey, the growers were like, you know, I don't really know. <laughs> are, are these the yes. only pumpkins they will get today or will they get more later? I believe they have more pumpkins because later on they're going to let the two male elephants out on their mm. own. And also, you know, throughout the season, they feed all kinds of animals throughout the zoo pumpkins. So they Aww. definitely have more pumpkins on standby. I think they just save these big, big ones uh, yeah. for the ladies. Like, she's looking right at me while she's <laughs> yeah. uh, having her feast. She well, seems very happy. So they all do. Yeah, it's so Kim sweet to watch. Kim mentioned this, and we heard this in your last interview, Bond, that middle pumpkin that that was 19th, I think, at the state championships this year. So yes. it was dissed by the judges, now yes. being dissed by the elephants. They're, I they're, know, it's so sad. <laughs> no interest. <laughs> they're like, it's not number one, then it's not for me. I so guess. yeah, I mean, we could show you this all morning, but I think they're going to be out here for quite a while working on this. But I they seem to away. really like yeah. it, guys. So. Mesmerizing. It really is. No. Oh, Bonnie, this is so much fun. You know, um, I have goats, and they eat pumpkins and other type of squash. It's really good for their system. As you fiber, mentioned, Bonnie, yeah. yeah, it's so nutritious for them. Yeah. It is good for them. I was there. It's good for their tummies yep. and it's good for them. And they're just chilling, you guys. So, well, yeah, Morgan Zoo doing its thing 26 years in the making. Oh, so much fun, Bonnie. We love it when you go out there. And I'm excited for the crowd. Such a big crowd today, yeah. too. What a great day to yeah. smash some pumpkins with the <laughs> elephants there. Bonnie Silkman, thank you so much. <laughs> hey, and if that big one ever gets popular.